How's it going guys? Chips here with you again, back with another ARC Let's Build video. And in today's video, we're going to be building this ocean platform base that you see in front of you now. For those of you who are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough video with voiced over instructions so you can get this build on your ARC. And for a full list of building materials as well as the map cords where I built this, make sure you check out the description below. And guys, all of the paint decorations on this build was done by You Were a Monkey. Now I'm going to leave her channel linked in the description as well as her video linked in a comment. Guys, make sure you go check out that video after this one. It is a full in-depth tour of all of the decor on this build and it is absolutely amazing. You guys don't want to miss it. So with all of that said, guys, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. All right, so we have our ocean platform placed. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is cover this entire outer ring of the platform with stone ceilings. So we want to start off here on this corner above our platform. And then, like I said, we're just going to cover this entire outer ring. Now, as we speed this up and go ahead and do this really quick, I do want to take this chance to tell you guys on this build with the ocean platform, just be very careful. If you misplace anything, be super careful when you're picking it up that you do not accidentally pick up or destroy the entire platform. Next, we're going to start on our front left corner right here. We're going to get out a wooden fence foundation and we're going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that you have this outer snap point right here. Go ahead and place that down and it should look like that. Now we are just going to go ahead around the entire edge of our platform and line it with wooden fence foundations placed in this fashion. All right, next we're gonna choose a side that's gonna be the front of our build and go ahead and build up the pillars and the gate here on the front. That way we have a reference to go off of for the rest of the build. So starting here on this left corner, we're gonna go ahead and place a stone pillar followed by a wooden pillar. And we'll do that on the next three snap points as well. Then we're gonna go ahead and skip this ceiling and this snap point and come over to this one and do the same thing. Then on the very next snap point, right here between these two ceilings, we're gonna place four high stone pillars, followed by one wooden pillar. We'll again skip this next ceiling and this next snap point and come over to this one and do the same thing. So we should have a two gap right here. We'll go ahead and place another stone and wooden pillar right here. Skip another ceiling and come over to this snap point right here and do the same thing, and then add another one on each of these last three snap points. So now we should have something that looks like this here on the front. So now we're gonna come into the middle right here and get out a stone dinosaur gate frame. And I'm going to flip the gate frame around using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that we have this snap point right here. Go ahead and place it down and then fill it in with a reinforced dinosaur gate and this will make up the front of our build. Now we're gonna go ahead and place some pillars here on the outside of our right side of the platform. So we'll start off here where we already have the one in the corner and we'll do another one stone and one wood on these next two spots. Then on this next spot, we're going to do one stone and two wood. And we'll do that on the following two spots as well. Then we will skip the next snap point right here. We'll skip that one and come to this one and do the same thing. We'll go ahead and skip this snap point right here, come to this one and do the same thing again, and then do that on the next two snap points as well. And then on these last three snap points, we'll go ahead and do one stone pillar and one wooden pillar. So your right side pillars should look like this. Next, we're gonna do the pillars on the outside of our back side. So we're gonna start here again in the left corner and we're going to add another stone pillar and wood pillar right here. 
and then do this two more times. We will then go ahead and skip this snap point and come to this one right here and do that one more time right here. Then we're gonna go ahead and skip three snap points. So this one, this one, and this one, and come to right here and do that again. Go ahead and skip this snap point right here, come to this one and do that one more time right here. And then go ahead and do that on these last three as well. So your backside pillars should look like this. Now for the outside pillars here on the left side, we'll again start off in the left corner by placing a stone and wood pillar on this spot and then do that again on the next two spots. Then we're gonna go ahead and skip this snap point right here, come to this one and do the same thing. Go ahead and skip this snap point and do the same thing right here. And then go ahead and skip this snap point and do the same thing right here. And then go ahead and skip this snap point and come to this one and do the same thing. And then do the same thing on these last two snap points right here. So your left side pillars should look like this. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is build up the first level of our outer wall. Now this outer wall is gonna have some detail on it, so I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get that detail. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here to our left side and we're gonna get out a sloped thatch wall left. And you're actually gonna be placing this on the stone ceiling, not the wooden fence foundation. So this is the wooden fence foundation snap point. You want this one right here that's on the stone ceiling. So go ahead and place that down. Then we're gonna get out a stone railing and we are going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you have this snap point right here. This is placing down on the actual fence foundation, so go ahead and place that. And you'll see it gets placed down and the thatch wall does not get destroyed. So now we're gonna get out a stone wall and we're going to replace that thatch half wall with a stone wall. So go ahead and do that. You'll see it will destroy it and now the stone wall will be placed and the railing will remain. This is the only way you can do this to get a stone wall behind a railing. Otherwise, on official settings, you won't be able to do it. So we're gonna go around the entire platform and just line the outer wall with this design. All right, so we're finishing up this last side here and then you will see that we have done this all the way around the edge of the platform. I just did most of it off camera to save us some time, but as you can see, we have done it all the way around the platform. So again, as you can see, I have gone ahead and done those walls all the way around the build. So the next thing we're gonna do is fill in this center section here in the middle. So we're gonna start over here on the left side by dropping a wooden stair down from each of these ceilings. Then over on the right side, we're gonna drop a wooden stair down from these first two. We're gonna skip these middle ones and do the same thing on these two over here. So just like this. Now heading back to the left side, we're gonna take two rows of stone ceiling going all the way across. Now we're gonna to go to the back side over here and we're gonna place another stone ceiling followed by a stone hatch frame filled in with a reinforced trap door and then one more stone ceiling. We're gonna leave this spot open for now. Then we'll add two more rows of three stone ceilings. Then on the front side over here, we'll add three more rows of three stone ceilings. Now you can go ahead and add two more stone ceilings right here to connect these two sections. And then go ahead and fill in this center spot right here with a giant stone hatch frame. and go ahead and fill that in with a giant reinforced trap door. So just like that. Now we're gonna add another row of stone ceilings here in front of these wooden stairs. Now we're gonna do this from the wooden stairs because we wanna make sure it's snapping to that other stone ceiling and not the wooden stair. So just make sure you're getting the snap point that is in line with the stone ceiling and go ahead and take these all the way across. And then you can also go ahead and these middle two right here, you can go ahead and add another one going in, just like this. 
All right, next we're gonna start working on those four corner rooms. But before we start working on the actual rooms, we need to lay out one more pillar for each corner. So right here on the front, we're gonna come into this ceiling right here and lay down a wooden fence foundation on the ceiling. And then just go ahead and place one stone and one wooden pillar on it. Then go ahead to these other three corners and do the exact same thing we just did. Next, we're gonna start adding walls to these front two corner rooms. So we're gonna start here on the left side and on the ceiling that is closest to our front, we're gonna place down a stone window frame filled in with a greenhouse window and then a stone wall on top. The next spot will have two stone walls. And in the next spot, we'll have a stone door frame with a reinforced door and another stone wall. Then coming around to this side, we'll start off with another stone window frame, greenhouse window and stone wall. We'll place two more stone walls here and then another stone door frame, reinforced door and stone wall. Now on these second level walls right here, we're going to place greenhouse walls on each one. So this will make up the walls for this corner. So now we're going to head over to this corner and we're going to do the exact same thing over here. Now we're gonna go ahead and work on the back two corner rooms as they are gonna be a little bit different. So starting on the left one over here, we'll place a stone window frame right here and fill that in with a greenhouse window. Add a stone wall on top, two stone walls right here, and then a stone door frame and reinforced door and a stone wall right here. Now heading around to the other side on this first spot, we're gonna place a stone door frame and just leave it open and place a stone wall on top. We'll place two stone walls here and then in the next spot we'll place two stone double door frames and we'll leave those open as well then on these outside walls again we're going to add greenhouse walls on top of each one so now you can just go around to this other side over here and duplicate what we just did over there All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start building up the roofs on these four corners. So starting here on this left one, we're gonna go ahead in here and get out the appropriate sloped wooden wall and place it down. We'll then add a wooden wall in the middle and another sloped wooden wall here. And we'll do this on the other three sides as well. Then once you have all of those placed, we're gonna to come to the top here and we're going to connect these normal wooden walls using wooden ceilings, making kind of like a cross. And we just want to make sure all of these ceilings place in the same direction. Then we're going to come to one of our corners and we're going to get out sloped wooden roofs and we're going to be crossing these. So what you want to do on official settings is place the left one first and then the right one. So I'll show you real quick as we do the left one and then the right one, they'll be able to cross. Now, if we come over here and we do the right one first and then we try to do the left one, you'll see they won't be able to cross. So just make sure you always do the left one first and do these other three corners. And then lastly, we're going to head inside here. And we're just going to fill in these openings on each side with another sloped wooden roof. So just like that. So now as we come back outside, this will be our roof so far. Now we are going to add more on to it later in the video, but we need to wait to do that so we don't obstruct some other stuff. So I'm going to go ahead off camera real quick and do the other three corners. Just go ahead and do the other three exactly like we did this one. All right, now we're going to start building up our Sarko pen here on the left side of the build. So we're going to head over here to the left. And the first thing we're going to do here on this wall is we're going to add a stone railing on top of each of these. Then we're going to come up to the top and we're going to connect these two corner towers using wooden ceilings going down the middle here. We will then also bring a row of sloped wooden roofs connecting from here to over there.
And then we will go ahead and starting on this wooden ceiling right here, we'll place a stone railing and we'll take these all the way across until we reach that same wooden ceiling on the opposite side. So it'll be this one right here. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and build up the inside portion of our sarco pen. So we're gonna start off by getting out a thatch wall and dropping it down from this wooden ceiling. But first we're gonna go ahead and flip this wall around using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it looks like this. Go ahead and do that under each one of these ceilings. Then we're gonna go ahead and place a thatch ceiling in front of each of those. And then we will go ahead and get out a stone railing. And we are going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. So that you get this snap point right here, go ahead and place it down. And that's placing on the thatch ceiling. Go ahead and do that on each of these. And then you can go ahead and pick up or destroy these thatch ceilings. Now we're gonna go ahead and get out a wooden window frame. And we are again going to flip it around and it's just gonna replace those thatch walls. And then you can just go ahead and fill those in with greenhouse windows. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start building up this portion here on the back side of our platform. So the first thing we're gonna do is come in here in front of this pillar and add a wooden fence foundation, just like this. Then go ahead and place a stone pillar on top of it and two wooden pillars on top of that. We're gonna do this again right here in the middle. And then one more time in front of this pillar. Now between this middle pillar and the wall, we're gonna go ahead and add a stone railing. And then between these two pillars, we're going to add a stone wall and do the same thing between these two pillars. Then we're gonna go ahead and place a stone wall on each of these ceilings and do the same thing on the other side. Now we're gonna go ahead and fill in above those with wooden ceilings, except for we are gonna leave the last spot on each end open. Now for that last spot, we're gonna go ahead and drop down a stone stair on each side. And then lastly, we're gonna go ahead and add stone railings all the way across the top on both sides. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and finish off this back portion. So we're gonna start off by coming into this corner and placing a greenhouse wall with a stone wall on top of it. And then we're gonna do this all the way across this ledge. So there we go. Now we're gonna to come to our top here and we're gonna go ahead and place a wooden ceiling connecting this section across to that section. Again, just make sure you're placing them in the same direction so they line up. Then you can go ahead and connect this section to this section using sloped wooden roofs. And go ahead and do the same thing over here on the front side. And then with those all connected, we're gonna go ahead to the top here and we're again going to take a line of wood or stone railings going across the back here, starting on this ceiling right here and going to the same ceiling on the opposite side. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start working on this right side, starting by adding some additional pillars. So we'll come in here to this left corner and on this inline between these two ceilings, we're going to place a wooden fence foundation. Then on this back snap point, we're gonna place one stone and one wood pillar. And on the front one, we're gonna place one stone and two wooden pillars. We'll do the same thing on this inline right here. Then on the front of this ceiling right here, we're gonna place another wooden fence foundation. 
and another one right here. And on this side right here, we're gonna place another stone and two wood. And we'll do the same thing right here. Then we're gonna place another wooden fence foundation right here on this inline. And place another stone and two wood. Then add another fence foundation right here and do the same thing. Then we will come over here and place another wooden fence foundation on each of these inlines. And we will again place one stone and one wood on the back snap points and one stone and two wood on the front snap points. All right, now we're gonna continue on the right side by placing our walls. So we're gonna start off here on the left, right here between where we have this wall and this pillar, we're gonna place two stone walls. Then between these two pillars, we're gonna place two wooden walls. And then two more stone walls between these two. Now between these two pillars right here, we're gonna place a stone door frame, reinforced door, and another wall. Then down here on our ceiling, we're gonna place another wall and the appropriate sloped stone wall. And then just the appropriate sloped stone wall right here. We'll come over to this side and place another sloped stone wall right here. Another wall and sloped stone wall right here. And then up here, another door frame, reinforced door, and then another wall. Then two more stone walls right here. Two more wooden walls right here. And two more stone walls right here. Then we'll head to the inside and right here on this ledge, we're just gonna place one stone wall on each of these. Then on this back side, we're gonna place a stone wall on each of these first two. Head over to the other side and do the same thing on these two. And then on the middle four, we're gonna place greenhouse walls. All right, now to finish off this right side, the first thing we're gonna do is come in here to the bottom and place a wooden stair right here and switch it to ramp. Go ahead and do that on the other side as well. Then we're gonna go up top to place our ceilings and we're gonna start right here on this corner by placing four wooden hatch frames. Now again, you wanna make sure you're placing them in the same direction as we did our original ceilings up here. Go ahead and do this on the other side as well. And basically my idea for these hatch frames right here is we're gonna be placing an industrial forge on each side. So you'll be able to actually access the industrial forge through the hatch frame from below. Now, if you don't wanna place a forge up here, just replace these with ceilings. Now we're gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of this back area with wooden ceilings. Again, make sure you're snapping them in this direction. We're also gonna go ahead and place three right here in front and do that on the other side as well. Then you can go ahead and place your stone stairs coming down just like this until you reach the ground. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we are going to surround this platform up here with stone railings. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and start working on the front of the build. So first we're gonna pop in here to the inside and we're gonna go ahead to the second ceiling in and place a wooden fence foundation on this inline right here. Then on each side of that, we're going to place four high stone pillars followed by one wooden pillar on top. Then we'll come over here to this ceiling right here and do the same thing in this spot. Then we're just gonna come to the front right here where we kind of have this entry from our gate. We're gonna come over to this ceiling right here and place another wooden fence foundation on the ceiling and then just add one wooden pillar right here in line with those other pillars and then do the same thing right over here. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some walls here on our entryway. So first right here between this front pillar and this next pillar, we're going to add four high stone walls. 
We'll do the same thing over on the other side. Then right here between these two pillars, we're going to add six high wooden railings. And go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Now we're gonna come in here to the water right here and right in front of this pillar, we're gonna place the appropriate sloped stone wall. Do the same thing in front of this other pillar and then go ahead and drop wooden stairs down from each of these spots and switch both of those to ramp. Now continuing here on the front side of our build, we're gonna come into this wooden ceiling right here and place three more out from it connecting to the middle. We'll do this on the other side as well. Then we're gonna come right here between these two pillars and get out a stone wall. And we're going to flip the wall using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that it places like this. Go ahead and do that on the other side as well. Then on this wooden ceiling right here on each side of it, go ahead and place the appropriate sloped wooden wall. And then go ahead and fill this in with a stone stair. And do the same thing over on the other side. Then you can just go ahead and fill in this top part with more wooden ceilings. Now we're gonna go ahead right here on the back side that's kind of inside of our build here. We're gonna drop one wooden pillar down right here in the middle. And then we're just gonna go ahead and everywhere except for where our stairs come up, we're going to surround with stone railings. Now here on the front side, we're gonna go ahead and take three sloped wooden roofs across here and do the same thing on the other side. Then we're gonna go ahead and right here in front of this stair, we're gonna drop another wooden pillar, just like this. Do that on the other side as well. And we are then going to take stone railings going across these next three ceilings. And again, do the same thing on the other side. All right, so now one more thing we're gonna do here on the front side is come into where we have these wooden ceilings and we're going to get out a thatch wall to hang below them, but we are going to flip this wall around using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that you get it looking like this. Go ahead and add one on these two as well and then on the other side on all three of these. Then go ahead and place a thatch ceiling down in front of all six of these. Now we're gonna go ahead and get out a stone railing. And if you're already looking down at the thatch ceiling, you'll probably already have the snap point you need, but go ahead and if you're not getting this snap point that's kind of light blue and looks like it's placing off in front of the wall, just rotate through the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get this snap point. So we're gonna go ahead and place that down and do that on these other ones as well. Then once you have all of those placed, go ahead and pick up or destroy your thatch ceilings. And now we are just gonna go ahead and replace those thatch walls with wooden walls. So we'll get out a wooden wall and then again, flip it around and then place it and you'll see it will replace the thatch. So do this on the other five. And then the last thing we're gonna do on the front right here where we have this pillar drop down, we're just gonna go ahead and place a stone railing right here on each side of the pillar. All right, so now that we have our sides all done, we can go back in here to our corners and finish working on the roof. So starting here on the front right corner, we're gonna go ahead and on this side ceiling right here, we're going to place two high wooden pillars. We'll do that again over here on this ceiling. Then we're gonna come to the inside of the build over here. And right here on this inline, we're going to place a wooden fence foundation and add a wooden pillar on this inner corner and then place a thatch ceiling on top of it and next to that. Then come back around to the outside and drop a wooden wall down from each of those. So you'll see we have the dark wooden side facing out towards the outside of our platform. Go ahead and then pick up these thatch ceilings 
this wooden pillar and also this wooden fence foundation. Then go ahead and place the appropriate sloped wooden wall on top of each of these wooden walls. And then we will just go ahead and finally drop a wooden ramp down from each of these on each side. So this will make up our final roof for here for one of our corners. So it's important to remember what we want to do is when we place that fence foundation, you want to place the fence foundation on the side that is kind of on the inside of our ocean platform here because we want the dark wooden side of these walls facing outward. So I'm going to go ahead off camera and do the other three real quick. Just duplicate what we just did right here on the other three corners. All right, guys, so now we're going to do a few more things to finish off the build. So first over here on our side where we have these four hatch frames, we're going to go ahead and get out our industrial forge and we're going to place it right on top of those. Now we want it up tight to this wall on the side as well as there on the back, but without hanging over the back. So this right here should be good. It's not hanging over the back too much. And we're still able to make our way around the front here to get over to this ledge. So now we're going to head over here to this side where we have these four and do the same thing right here. So just like that, that looks good. And we can still get over around the front. Now for transparency's sake, we have one more thing to do because I forgot to do it earlier. So right here on these three stone ceilings, we're going to go ahead and place a stone railing. And you want to make sure you're placing it on the ceiling, not the fence foundation. And then we'll do the same thing over here on this side. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for the building portion of this video. Now, as always, you or a monkey is going to come in here and work her magic on the paint and decorations. So guys, stick around with me for one more second and I will show you what she comes up with. All right, so like I said, your monkey has came in and obviously hooked us up with an awesome paint scheme and some great decorations. So I'm gonna kind of real briefly show you a few of the things that she's done, but guys, she has put a ton of hard work into this build and done some really awesome decorations. So please do me a favor, guys, and go check out her channel and her videos showing off all of the decorations that she's done for this build. So first things first here on the outside, obviously you can see she has hooked us up with a great paint scheme all the way around. She's added some really cool decorations here on the outside. Also gone ahead and brought in a bunch of flyers and parked them up here on our ledges. Brought in some Ankies over here next to our forges. And she's even brought in some Hyenodons down here and given them some little beds to live on. I really like what she did here with the pool, painting it with this blue color to make it really look like water. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you just a few of the rooms that she's done, like I said, real quick. But again, guys, make sure you go check out her channel for the full tour. So this is kind of our workshop room. So she's hooked us up with everything we need in here and laid it out real nice and real simple for us. As we come through here, this is a dining room that she has hooked up with some awesome decorations. And then in here, we have a really cool kitchen that she has also hooked up for us. We got some really great decor going on in here, all kinds of different stuff. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. Guys, if you did enjoy the build in the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Go ahead and leave me some feedback in the comments below. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, go check out some other builds. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future arc Let's Build videos. Also, guys, I will say it once again, please do me the favor and go check out your monkey's channel and show her some love for all of the amazing hard work that she has done on this build. And also, guys, make sure you check out the description below for a link to my Twitter where you can stay up to date with me, as well as a link to my Discord where you can come hang out and share pics of this build on your arc. So anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and have a great day.